Welcome everybody. I've gotten quite a few emails about how the flaps worked on the big B36D I designed. So this short video is going to take us through how I developed them. A lot of people asked, how did I get such great deflection um, out of like a scale flap? Um, and it was two swing arms. So let's dive into this and I'll show you how it worked. So basically I cut most of the uh, flat parts out of uh, eighth inch aircraft plywood and I hand cut all of it. You know, of course I'd drawn the entire airplane in AutoCAD. And um, if I had to tweak anything, I could go back to the CAD. But uh, it took me a long time to cut out all these flat parts. And, you know, I've always cut everything by hand. I've never laser cut it because if I screw it up, I've got to go back and send it to the laser cutters. I don't own a laser cutter. But as I started cutting more and more of these parts out, I started realizing that this was going to be a really cool design. I just absolutely loved the way that it was all going to plug together. Here's the pictures of all the ribs right before I started assembling the flaps. And uh, keep in mind, there's a difference between the mechanism and the flap. So here's the mechanism. These two little arms in the middle here swing on two different pivot axes. And uh, that's what gives me the um, ability to have the flap to basically move back and then deflect at such a high angle. And um, the 4A and the other 4A, um, those bolt together. So you've got these two swing arms that kind of, you know, like a pendulum swing underneath it. But if you look at the flap, it has two holes there. And that's what causes it to pivot. I've got some video here in a minute, of course, and I'll show you how this all works. So once you start to uh, realize how many of these I had to make, there were two per flap. There's six flaps on the airplane. And that mean I had 12 servos to activate the flaps. This mounted into the trailing edge of the wing like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, you know, basically this is just how it, uh, you know, mounted. And it was actually glued in. But you could always take the flap um, off it by unscrewing the two arms. So here are the uh, two of the mechanisms. These are five A's, which basically means these are flap number five. And um, once I had the airplane pretty much built, I could then take this whole mechanism, put it in there and slide it into place. And then I would glue a trailing edge uh, 64th ply cap over the trailing edge. So here's the first uh, flap I put in just to kind of test the geometry. And this is it deflected to 15 degrees for takeoff. And this is deflected to uh, about um, 38 degrees. It wasn't quite 40 degrees. Here's kind of a picture of it in the full deflection. You can see the two little arms in here. I've got a better picture here coming up of that. But I just wanted to show you how far it swings back. Here is a picture of just it in the wing when I was doing some testing to kind of figure out all the geometry and make sure how it worked. But there's a lot of parts that went into this airplane. So here's the inboard <clears throat> of the innermost flap against the fuselage. And um, here you can see the um, outboard in full deflection. You can see where the two arms have swung back. So here we're going to see just a little bit of me manually moving it on the two swing arms. Sorry for this old video. This is recorded back in 2009. So, um, or eight. Here was the very first where I ran it with a servo just to kind of get an idea of the geometry and how it worked. And uh, there was an awful lot of time in CAD drawing this and then I pulled it into 3D to understand how all the geometry had really worked. So it probably took me a good 20 hours of design time to figure out how to make that really work. Um, here you can kind of see the swing arms down inside there, the way they swung back. Now, this was my very first mock-up prototype. The finished one was a lot cleaner and slicker than this, but I'm just trying to get you to understand how the arms, the two swing arms worked on these flaps. And as you can see, it's pretty slick the way it worked. So this next video was the actual first one that would go in the airplane. And you notice I have 180 degrees of travel on the servo. That gives me a lot more torque in both extremes of holding it in its when it's up so it won't flutter. And it, it locks it so it won't flutter when it's up. But when it's all the way down, it locks it so that the uh, force of the wind isn't always putting a load on the servo. And 
and it just, uh, I was just so tickled with how well this worked. And that first setting is uh, the 15 degrees for uh, takeoff, and the second setting is a landing. And this next video here is me just manually testing a flap. That was 64th plywood that I'd wrapped it with. This was just a mock-up. And again, sorry about the video quality. This is before I started using my, well, I had two cameras back then. One was really good and one was really bad. But this gives an idea of how it, it worked. And of course, if you want any of the parts and pieces, just email me and I'll give you the geometry so you can make your own flaps. This would probably work on several different types of aircraft. It was really cool getting these to work right because this is one of the uh, most rewarding things. I keep saying that. Everything's rewarding, I guess. This was the first time I ran it on servos. And the crazy thing is I had a ton of mock-ups. Um, um, oh, here's another one of me pivoting it by hand. And here's another one of it being motorized. I was super excited with how strong these were. Now, these servos were pretty high torque servos. I mean, not massive torque, but they they definitely. Oh, here was a really uh, uh, early mock-up that I'd done just to see how they would all synchronize and everything. Keep in mind, I had, um, you can't use one servo channel to run all these servos because it drains the data signal and you just won't be able to get them all to work. So I hope you like this video, everybody. That's pretty much how it works. If you got any questions, you know, send me an email and everything. But I want to do this short video. I didn't want it to be an hour long on how the flaps work. And if you got any questions, let me know. Hope you enjoy these videos, everybody, and have a rocking day. Take care. Bye-bye.